how do you find some peace and some quiet when you're not out and about, when you're not camping or in nature? What I've done is turned a normal backyard into some place that I can find some solitude and some peace and where I can relax when I'm not traveling to different destinations. And part of that is removing grass, planting a lot of natives and other foliage. It attracts wildlife and it makes me feel uh, relaxed, which is nice. So what I've done is created a place uh, in the middle of a city. This is a backyard um, that once was uh, a lot of grass, mainly just St. Augustine grass. And I've slowly, over about three years, turned it into um, what I would consider a more wild place, some place that makes me um, feel good and relax where nature comes to me, um, birds primarily, although we have raccoons and possum, occasional coyotes in the neighborhood, it's all fine with me. Um, and this place makes me happy. It brings calm. Uh, when I'm working during the week, uh, I like to come and, and sit down and relax. Caroline, um, she's uh, Karen's daughter, decided that um, this would be a good idea to basically do a video that um, shows you some of the changes we've made to a typical um, St. Augustine lawn uh, backyard that was wide open, that um, had to be mowed uh, constantly, and we spent a lot of time just cutting grass. Um, and we've turned it into not only uh, veggies in terms of gardens, but also butterfly gardens. Also, we've cut it up into several um, sectors, uh, one of which is a, a faux log cabin porch that um, we can relax in, which is really, really nice. Um, made basically a, a little fire pit, um, which during the winter is really nice. You can see the stars in the sky and, and the way we've planted this area, uh, it is really quite beautiful um, and it, it provides some privacy uh, because this yard basically has a, a wall around it and fencing, uh, but we've let certain things grow like um, the Virginia creeper, the vine behind me, uh, Bougainvillea, um, which is a nice flowering vine with a lot of sharp uh, thorns. And then we've intertwined um, a lot of natives like sea grape, which typically grows on the, the, uh, the coast of Florida, um, along with crotons and things like that. Uh, one of the things that I've tried to do, and, and we're still in the midst of it, <clears throat> is um, building and constructing and landscaping the backyard where uh, the vegetation is really the, the key. It's what you see most mostly. Um, because it's still growing, uh, we want arches and things like that uh, to grow over pathways. Um, this backyard isn't big, but the way it's broken up, it's quite nice. Um, for the record, I don't like pools. I think pools are really, really a waste. Um, there, there's a ton of water that goes into them, and just the maintenance alone, the chemicals, but. There is a pool at this home, and uh, I hope that the landscaping we've done has trimmed back on water use in terms of what used to be the lawns, upkeep, and maintenance. Um, the landscape doesn't require a lot of water, which is uh, quite nice. The way we've arranged this and planted it and landscaped it um, allows me to have a vegetable garden where I'm growing a lot of okra now, some tomatoes, some melons. Um, I've got a full garden of pineapple, um, which is 
really wonderful. You can watch it grow and you can relax and, and uh, see how things do. I don't add any pesticides or herbicides. This is separate, this area that I'm in, from the bird feeder, uh, which is just on the other side of those sea grapes that I showed you before. So yeah, this is what we've done uh, to the yard. And you know, when I'm not camping or traveling or visiting places, I've got a place here that um, provides me a, just a lot of uh, time and, and it, it's a place to relax, um, to feel as if I'm uh, perhaps in a mountain home or someplace wild. And it, uh, it, it helps me relax, I think. It's uh, soothing, considering most of the year um, I have to travel and I'm going back and forth to, uh, to work in a downtown area, in Orlando specifically. So anyway, that's, uh, that's a little bit more about what we've created.